Hello and welcome back to Webs. We've been here every week showing you what we've been doing in 2020 to get this distillery off the ground. If you join us for episode eight, you saw the caboose story. Well, at least half the story. See, in episode eight, we showed you how we got the caboose from San Juan Capistrano to the distillery here in Aliso Viejo. But unfortunately, this is not where the caboose is gonna live. The caboose is going inside the building, which could prove to be as difficult or even more so than it was just to get the thing out of the guy's front yard. Why is it gonna be so difficult? Well, we've gotta get this monstrosity through that little door. Okay, so the opening here is 10 feet wide by 16 feet high. Well, you can see that the door itself actually comes down about three feet. So we don't even really have all 16 feet. So on the day that we're actually trying to get the caboose inside, we're for sure gonna to have to remove the roll up just so that we can get all 16 feet. So she's a beautiful, big, heavy old girl. As she sits right now off the wheel trucks, she's weighing in around 20 tons. Let's get the dimensions. She's 35 feet long. She's nine feet, seven inches wide. And she's just over 15 feet tall. So just to recap, the door into the building is 10 feet wide and 16 feet tall. The caboose is 10 feet wide and 16 feet tall, give or take a couple inches. It's pretty clear that we're gonna have to do some modification. We'd like to get away with having to cut a bigger hole in the building. What we'd like to do is be able to modify the caboose in a small way and try to shoehorn it into the building. You know, one of the coolest features on this old caboose is the engineer's bubble up top. And that's where they would sit and they'd look out for the lights and the flags and they'd keep their logs. It sits about three and a half feet higher than the rest of the caboose. So if we can find a way to take that off, then we can get the height of the caboose down to around 11 feet. Okay, so the caboose comes in the door and then we gotta turn it and figure out where it's gonna finally live is right here between these two pillars, which are structural, so we can't touch them because then the whole roof falls down. So we figure out a way to get the caboose in the door, turned and shoehorned in between these two pillars where we're gonna then set rails, put the wheels on the rails, and then put the box back on the wheels. And that's where she'll live forever and ever, right here at the back of our barrel room. Between there and here, well, that's gonna be a heck of an episode. So this is the kind of dolly that we use when we're doing a restoration on a car. We take it off the chassis and we set it down on this and that way we can move it around the warehouse once it's off the wheels. Well, we're gonna need to build something like this to move the caboose around on a much larger scale. Good news is they make industrial casters like this that can hold 10 tons. We spread the weight out a little bit. We build a much larger frame. Hopefully we can set the caboose down on top of it and at that point, we can use whatever means necessary to shoehorn her in the building. And now through the magic of cinematic forced perspective, we will show you how the caboose will set atop its, oh, no, nah, it doesn't look good. Now through the magic of cinematic forced perspective, you can see how the, no, see how it keeps, now, through the magic of cinematic, you know what, just let me get, you, you guys get the idea. Okay, we're gonna put the caboose on a little dolly and we're gonna try to push it into the building without breaking everything. So now you know where the caboose came from, how we got it from there to here, and we told you today what we think it's gonna take to get it inside. You know, you're talking, you got this pencil. It's like, we don't need the pencil, okay? I get it. 2020's been a whole lot of talk. We haven't been doing a whole lot of stuff around here. And that's because 2020's been all about the three Ps, parking, planning, and permitting. Well, hopefully in 2021, it'll be all about the three Bs, building and barrels of booze. And that's when we can all take a big sigh of relief, go out to the caboose, crack a bottle of the good stuff, and talk about what a pain in the ass it all was. 
We're gonna do two more videos this season to hit our goal of doing 20 videos in the first season of Webb's Grainworks to kind of tell you what it is that we're doing around here. The idea is to come back in January and kick off with our first episode, January 6th, of getting our conditional use permit. At that point, we're gonna pull building permits and really get this show on the road. We really look forward to sharing the entire process with you. Please keep coming back week after week to see what it is that we're doing here. And we look forward to seeing you right here next week at Webb's Grainworks.